Hey guys, Polly here with another video. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, stop trying to be consistent and just go with it because I feel that when I don't try to be consistent, I'm actually much more consistent. So yeah, it's a lot more stressful if I don't think about it too much and just put out videos how I want. So that's just how we're gonna do things, okay? We're just gonna wing it and, and see how it goes. Um, but today's video is mainly me just coloring some postcards for patreon for patrons on patreon I, I always get that wrong um and i just mainly wanted to show you guys this because the postcards for this month are obviously halloween themed or autumn themed and it's basically my favorite time of the year and i thought that it was a great time for me to actually like show you guys how i'm making these postcards lately because I did show you guys a speed paint a few months back of me making postcards uh, sort of in the same style, but my process has changed over the last few months. Uh, as you could tell by now if you've seen the other video, um, mainly I just changed the order in which I do things. I, I obviously start off with a sketch, but instead of going over it with my brush pen and doing the line art next, I'm, I actually, I'm actually doing the watercolors next, so it'd be sketch, watercolor, and then the line art. Um, and I'm actually doing this because I feel like it gives me a bit more liberty um, when I'm painting. Like, I'm not sure, if, uh, but I feel as if the line art uh, constrains me or limits what um, what I could do with my colors. Like, there's already areas that I have to inherently color certain ways and everything if I have the line art already. And so if I actually paint before I do the line art, I have a bit more liberty and I could, you know, if I change my mind on how I want to paint something or how I want something to look, I think that if I paint it first, since there's no lines or there's no permanent lines yet, uh, I can change the drawing up as I go. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh huh. Um, painting before line art. That's that's my biggest big breakthrough with these postcards. Uh, and I feel like a lot of people already do this, but hey, bear with me. I'm learning as I go. Um, I really like. I don't know. I just feel like it's a bit. It's more liberating to not have uh, line art already done when I'm making these, um, it, it also forces me to kind of like do more shading so that the drawing itself or the painting itself, uh, can, can, if I were to not add, uh, lines, so the drawing can actually speak for itself. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to get at, but basically, what I'm trying to say is that I could potentially leave some of these postcards without line art uh, and they would still look cool or okay or, you know, I would still like how they look. But since it's October, I decided that I wanted to do like heavy line art for most of these or all of these postcards because in a way it was preparation for Inktober or at, at least that's how I saw these postcards to be and I don't know, I just really like, I kind of miss, let, let's be honest, I kind of miss using my brush pen with my watercolors, so that's that. And after doing the first postcard, I was like, oh yeah, we're going all the way, we're gonna use the brush pen for all of these. Um, because the black, the brush pen just adds so much more depth and details, obviously, and I was going for a much more uh, of a darker approach with these postcards because Halloween and everything and spookiness whatever and so the the method I was going for with the last postcards that I've done have been like very soft pastel and that's not what I was like going for this month so line art was necessary for these postcards and yeah that's about it um but the other thing I wanted to mention was that I was going, I'm going, or I'm doing, yeah, by now I'm doing uh, Inktober. So this, as I said, this was like a warm up for me. Um, I will be doing Inktober and I'm going to be posting it uh, regularly 
unlike last year because last year i just i didn't have any other choice i i couldn't post regularly to social media so this year i hope i'll be able to like keep up with the schedule and actually do daily drawings i'm actually doing two prompts at two prompt lists is that yeah prompt list uh, at the same time which is really not recommended i'm already regretting it but it's still fun i'm doing the the official inktober prompt list and a my hero academia prompt list um and so far I've, I've been able to keep up with it but yeah i don't really recommend it uh and it's been, been kind of hectic because obviously it's not the only thing i'm doing I also have to work and everything and, and work on comic pages as well. It's been pretty hectic to say the least. Especially this week. This week's been very heavy uh, workload wise for me. But you know what? I still like it. I still like what I'm doing so far. And I hope that I'm actually able to finish the prompt list because each prompt list is so cool. Uh, the the My Hero Academia one is just so fun to make, especially because I've never really drawn much of, of the My Hero Academia characters. So I feel like it's a really fun process to get through and everything. So yeah, I would have to say that these postcards are definitely like my favorite batch so far. I've done, I've been doing this for like five or six months now, and I, by far these are like my favorite postcards. I really hope that the people that receive them like cherish them enough, or as much as I am cherishing them right now. I, I feel a bit. Uh, sad about having to let them go but at the same time i'm like i'm excited for them to actually receive them and have them in their hands and just admire them as much as i am right now because i, I really like like these are my favorites so far for sure i also wanted to talk about um since I'm on the topic of Inktober, I also wanted to mention that I have some prints up on Etsy of last year's Inktober drawings that, you know, I couldn't really share much on social media, but I was actually really happy with how they turned out. And I'm finally able to actually make prints out of some of them, um, my favorite ones. And there's also some very cute uh, Halloween slash autumn stickers that I feel like you guys should check out because I, I really like them a lot. Um, there's very limited quantities of each of the prints and stickers. Uh, I don't feel that I'll, I don't think I'm gonna be um, printing out more of these anytime soon. So there's ve so if you really want one, then really don't hesitate to actually get one of these. Um, I'm really proud with the, about the quality and just everything about them and i'm happy that i'm actually able to finally put up more um stuff on my etsy store um so yeah please do check it out if you want but that's about it uh thank you for watching so far and for uh letting me ramble on about everything thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye, bye.